Hi everybody, it's Tiffany from Uncensored Dolls. Um, today I have a little uh, video about uh, my top 10 YouTubers that I like to watch. So I'm going to go through that list, but first of all I just wanted to say that I hope everybody's having an amazing Easter weekend, uh, spending lots of time with your family, because I think that, um, you know, if you aren't religious, then that's kind of the focus of this weekend. But if you are religious, then of course there's others, which I'm not very familiar with because I'm not really religious. But I just wanted to um, send out uh, my love from my family and uh, to yours and hope you're having an amazing weekend and exactly uh, what I said, having some fun time with your family and definitely spending quality time. Uh, right now I'm sort of, <clears throat> I can really appreciate this family time with mine because my husband's, uh, he's got a few people who are sick in his family and it's kind of... Uh, it kind of opens your eyes to uh, how important family actually is. Um, but on to the video. Uh, I don't want to get too into <laughs> the details. Um, but I have 10 YouTube subs subscriptions that uh, I would like to focus on today. And they're in no particular order of, you know, who I like more than the other. Because I'm not really that type of person. I watch everybody for different reasons. And, uh... If you didn't make the list, that's okay, because you know what, um, I'm subscribed to uh, 150 people on YouTube, and, and uh, you know, I only have 10 top subscriptions that I really like to watch. I would I would say that every time they have a new video, I watch these people. And, um, alright, I'm going to go ahead and start with the first one. The first one is Heather Sparkles. Um, the first time I ever watched Heather, uh, it was quite amazing. It was, uh, she did a, a video on Hatchimals. And I think I, at that particular time, I was just trying to decide if I was going to buy that for my kids. I had just, you know, Hatchimals into YouTube and uh, there she was. And I said, okay, let's watch this video. And I think it was kind of the cuteness factor of uh, the screen that I saw that really drew me to uh, watching that video. And uh, ironically... Uh, she also really was into, she has her own BJDs, she collects My Little Ponies, she collects all sorts of, um, you know, stuff that I'm really interested in. So that, that worked out to uh, my benefit because I ended up loving Heather and going back to watch her videos every day. She's, she went to an anime convention recently and even that sparked my interest. So that was pretty cool. Um, the next person on the list is Halloween Heartthrob oh, or Jess. And uh, I would say that I kind of came, came across her stuff when I was looking for some Halloween do-it-yourselves. And uh, basically, like, so so many people on this list either have nothing to do with ball-jointed dolls at all, or I didn't know at the time that I subscribed to them that they did like ball-jointed dolls. So maybe they were off my recommended list, I'm not sure. But um, Jess from Halloween Heartthrob, I just, I just love her humor, and uh, I just... I find her so cool and interesting and she's got a full round of things to learn about. Um, she does sewing, do-it-yourself videos, um, little doll props I've done uh, or I've watched and plan to do but I never have time. <laughs> and I just I do just love watching um, her do her videos from Halloween like they're pretty cool. And let's be honest if you know me you know that I'm literally scared of everything having to do with Halloween. So. That goes to say a lot. Um, third person on my list is Banana Jamana. Um, I think her name's Riley Joe. Joe Riley? Not sure. I always forget her name because I call her Banjam. So, <laughs> uh, she does a lot of art videos. I like watching her art videos. I like watching, um, basically, she does. A lot of uh, sometimes she'll take us on tours when she goes to Disney sometimes she'll uh, do food videos she did start doing this mom video thing which was kind of like just it was kind of just for humor but uh, <laughs> I did tell her and I really do like her her mom videos because they were kind of cute and very helpful to moms like me who can't think of things to do on those days those rainy days and stuff like that so um, love 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 banana jamana love heather sparkers love um halloween heartthrob jazz and next person on my list number four is ann picaro um i really 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 love uh her little uh doll shorts they're really cute 
they're fun to watch and uh, I think they're stop motion right um, she I find it very funky it kind of gives me a Tim Burton feel not sure if that's an insult or a compliment but that's how I feel um, I find her very unique I love watching like her thrift hauls everything um, everything she posts I pretty much I'll, I'll you know I'll tune in and see what's going on um, sometimes I don't really I'll, I'll be honest with all people sometimes I just don't get through the whole video I have the attention span of like a three-year-old and I'll move on to something else and sorry guys my video cut out there so basically um, sometimes I'll, I'll watch all the way through when I'm really really interested in what's going on but sometimes uh, if I don't have time or you know my attention is drawn elsewhere very quickly um, then I'll not be able to finish the videos and sometimes I'll go back and finish them and you know sometimes you know life just happens um, another person on my list is uh, Asenva BJD and I really I really like her because uh, first of all her vi her music videos are hilarious and I find her humor um, very in tune with what I like and I find her videos really laid back and sometimes when you just have one of those days where you know you don't feel like watching somebody who's like you know this 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 somebody who can just kind of shoot their mind at you and you know not worry too much about the structure of uh what their video was intended to be that's kind of cool too sometimes um next on the list number six is nicole's dreams who is andrea um i really love her art videos i watch them all the time uh I really really don't know where she puts all her her stuff for doing all her art because she always seems to have like this crazy new like tablet or something and it's amazing how much stuff she has to work with in her house and I just to see that not only the technology that she uses how she does it but like the product of her work is amazing um, and also her her doll customs are uh, quite amazing to watch as well and uh, her do-it-yourself videos are amazing as well I think she showed one on how to make your own eye mold and I really enjoyed watching that I was thinking about doing my own eyes at one point so I went through all that and it was cool um, number seven on the list is swans uh, Sarah um, I really like her because she she kind of brings uh, a lot I find that a lot of people in the ball jointed doll community have this like cutesy feel to their dolls and uh, she has this alternative or goth or punk kind of look to her dolls and I really really think that's cool um, it's nice to see people bring different outlooks to their dolls and see different styles of course because that's sort of what they're all about and different customs and I also have to say that I really do love Sarah's artwork it's it's like really cool if I if I could have one of her paintings I'd totally hang it on my wall um, I just love her style um, also another thing that I really love about Sarah's videos is her intro kills me every time. Like every time I watch her video, it sounds like kind of like a dry erase marker. I die. I die every time. Um, I love her smile and sometimes that can be something so simple that attracts you to uh, a YouTuber. It's just seeing like how they present themselves, um, and their dolls, like because of her difference in uh, style for her dolls and herself, it's it's really cool. Um, number eight on the list, the helicopter. Not really much to do with dolls there. She basically all her videos are like reviews or uh, talking about squishies, which she collects massive amounts of. And I could watch this woman, Holly, until the cows come home, because I literally, she is like. I don't know if she's like a performer. She's she's amazing. She just goes through these videos and all I do is like either laugh at how hilarious she is or her reactions to things. I just love watching her. But also she does, I did notice as I watched her for a really long time now, um, that she she does have a couple dolls. She has some Kaposh dolls, which are like itty bitty, kind of like a, a Nendroid that can move and you can customize it a bit more. And uh, uh, Kiki Pop dolls, I think she has as well. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> it's interesting to come across that information as you kind of learn to love somebody for another reason. Um, nine on the list, Kohaku Creations. Um, basically, uh, I just started, she's one of the newest people who I subscribe to. Uh, I can't even tell you her name because that's how little I've known her. 
Uh, I've only known her for such a short time. And I just think that she's so cute and she seems to really love her fans. And she kind of has a similar style. I'm actually pretty sure she's pretty good friends with Swans. I think they did a video together at some point. I didn't have time to watch it yet because as I said it was kind of new. Uh, she's new to me. But they have like that punk goth doll uh, thing going on together which is really cool. And uh, I also found out that, you know, she knows another person who I follow on Instagram and uh, YouTube. So it's kind of like a circle. I'm kind of, I kind of entered a circle of uh, friends and found them all. And uh, they all seem to have that same cool style, which is which is awesome. Um, last on the list, number 10, uh, Archangeli. Um, again, I don't. I, I should know her name because I did watch her at at Doll North last night. Uh, last night, last year when I went to Anime North, I saw uh, uh, this uh, woman put on a presentation about uh, smart dolls, and she is a collector. I think of mostly vinyl. She collects uh, Dolphy Dreams, and uh, she knows about smart dolls. I'm not sure if she owns any because I think most of her videos are about Dolphy Dreams and. Uh, she has videos that are so amazingly helpful. Um, one of them was how to uh, basically de-stink a doll and she goes through everything. Um, she also does a lot of box openings of uh, dolls that she gets which is really cool because you can see how it actually looks and uh, sort of what to expect when you get it. Um, I really like her uh, tone of voice. I find her very professional. So if you're looking for somebody who's kind of like um, really really professional and really uh, straight to the point you know you get what you come for sort of thing and uh, that that is her like to a T and I just find her so helpful so informative um, she knows her stuff she basically knows so much stuff like and she is super super fun so anyways um you don't have to. I'm going to link to all these people um, because I spoke about them in my uh, description below. But I just wanted to uh, share this with you. This is my top 10 YouTubers as of this point. April 14th, 2017 in case you're counting. <laughs> and uh, I hope that uh, you check a couple of them out and see what they're all about. Because I really do, I do love and enjoy every single one of these people. I find them so inspiring and uh, they, every day... I watch at least one of them so and uh, I'm home right now with, with my boys so it, it's kind of uh, it kind of keeps me busy it gives me something to do and uh, I hope that they never stop doing videos all right love you guys and I'll see you next video bye